time together, I saw you bring everybody together. What, what, what were you telling me guys before you um, started? It was just more to focus and just kind of brought them in as simple, <coughs> plain and simple. If you guys want to go home, then let's just pack it in now. But if you guys want to continue and make it to the championship and then hopefully travel to the next level, then we got to fight. Whether we know we came in here knowing we're going to be a dog fight right now and winning the fight. Like, unless you guys want to win this fight and continue, we got to fight back. Uh, talk about the effort outside of Curry defensively, because again, 34 points in, uh, 11 for one of the guys, and the rest of their twos and zeros. Uh, talk about outside of him, how you guys kind of uh, manage that, I guess. Um, outside of that, it was just more staying alert, being focused. We know that offense is pretty much predicated through him, but we just were trying to be in position so we can help those guys like Alex, Elijah, who was getting him on single coverage, and just being in position and double team and knowing what our man is because that whole offense has worked off of him but they got they have good guys that are I guess they are accustomed to working around him so it makes it their job easier. So it's kinda of keeping the guards focused on staying in front of our man and keeping them just pressuring them so they don't feel so comfortable. Coach, talk about the team effort overall. I mean again Elijah didn't have one of his better games offensively, but you got these two picking it up. You got BJ hitting that huge three there. I mean talk about has that been something all year where, where, you know, next yeah, year. Yeah, you know, the thing is, you know, one of the, the beauties with this team is even though, you know, Rodney and Elijah are the leading scorers, you know, we have people that understand their roles, you know, like, like Alex certainly can score more, Gilligan can score more, you know, we, we have you know, Calderelli, we have some good pieces on the offensive end. One of the good things we do is we share the ball. I think we did it in the first half. We just couldn't knock down any shots. And I thought, you know, the second half, you know, we talked about staying within ourselves, staying what we do best, moving ourselves, moving the ball, and good things will happen. And uh, Alex started us off, and then, uh, you know, we made, you know, some tough uh, driving uh, layups, and then Calderelli hit the big shot. And, you know, you look at the stats, anytime you can win a game when you shoot 37% for the game and 30 from threes, on this level, you don't win many of those, but the way we got it, especially in the last six minutes, you give yourself a chance, you know, to win, and hopefully you can make a couple shots, and that's what happened. You know, once we took the lead by one, I thought they they were a, a little bit deflated because they were winning them, you know, the whole game, and uh, I thought we just, as Alex said, we just went and took it. Uh, finally, BJ's three was obviously a dagger. Uh, talk about how that kind of transpired, and then. You see him uh, rearing back to throw that thing up. Are you confident that he's going to nail that? Yeah, he, he said big shots. He hit one the other night also. You know, uh, you know, two nights ago, and, and that's uh, that's him. You know, he's not a hundred percent. He's about eighty percent. You know, he was out all last year with two hip operations, and we have to rest him. You know, every three or four minutes. And he's a gamer. He said big shots for us now. This is the second time that these guys have been in the NCAA's and. And to get to this point and to win the league like we did regular season or two years ago, you, you know, you need some gamers. And we have follow and we have gamers on this team. Right. Question for Alex. Um, to me, the, the image in my mind that I'm going to take in this game is you diving to save that loose ball. You did a swan dive practically to save it on the baseline to keep it in bounds. And I don't remember if you scored on the play or not, but um, I, I think I'm getting the sense that as a senior, you just said at that moment, I'm just not going to let my career end here. Is that fair to say? That, that is what was going through my mind, honestly. My career can't end here. Elijah's or Phillips or Max's, you know, I wanted to end in Indiana. That's our goal. And, and speaking of Max, I mean, I thought one of the key plays in this game that people might forget is when you, when you were down 10 the last time, he had a three in the corner that cut a cut the seven right after. It was 10 seconds after Curry had a three to get it to 10. I think that kind of I sense that you got fired up from that, and, and maybe that helped you a little bit. Yeah, no question. And, and, and same thing yesterday. You know, and people don't realize. You know, a lot of this game is what you do on the offensive end. It picks you up. Uh, you know, on the defensive end, it picks up your intensity. And uh, all game, we couldn't make back-to-back -back baskets. Never mind threes. And in the last, you know, eight, ten minutes of the game, there was maybe three or four situations. One of them, as you said, Chris, was, you know, Max, where we made back-to-back -back offensive plays. And, you know, he gave us the confidence, got him down a little bit. And even though we cut it down two or three times to five, six, seven, they, 
they would get it back in 10. And I, I thought the last time uh, when we cut it to three, you know, you could see when they they couldn't get a shot up, they get deflated a little bit. And it's the last night in Stonewall. Right. Same thing. Right. And then, you know, we talked about it again tonight. We said, here we are, we're in position to go and take. They're not going to give us anything, so we went and took. And I would need to do it one, uh, one more time. Great game, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for your support. Thanks for everything. Thanks.